Hi all, welcome to this Teams of Week 23 and Man of the Match investments. Plenty to cover in this video, thought I'd throw in the Man of the Match cards as well would be a nice bonus as well because there's quite a few to work with. So we can smash links, we awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for polishing the channel and social media links as always. Hopefully you find this useful and always I like to go covering the Teams of Week cards that are worth kind of covering. So let's jump into this video. So as you can see, plenty to cover, um, 21 players in all. Burke is around that 30k mark, between 30 and 35 to be more precise. For an 86 rated, he's probably going to be handy in some capacity if for his rating. Morrison's pretty much discard, and um, you can buy him for like 10k at the very, uh, like, even at most, but you find that like 11k is what he's generally going for. Delight, I was surprised he was going at six, 15, 16, 17k, it was kind of mental. And he's kind of in that low bracket for the 84s. It always seems to be every week a new, whoever's like the 84 or the 86 or 85s, always seems to fall in that bracket. Glick's also in that relatively cheap bracket. You do tend to find every hour, I find a couple pop up cheap, um, like sub 30k. It's just a case of obviously nabbing them. Asensio here, I've made a bit of a muck up here. I've better make sure I've got the right version of Asensio in. And I now have that slight feeling I've got the same problem with um, Giuliano when I get to him, but I'll make sure just in case. Uh, Asensio, for me, because he's in a big league as well, but the biggest thing is he's had a position change. He's pushing nearer the 35-40 k mark, but the biggest problem is as well, he's not directly one of the cheapest 86s. Um, there's plenty of others that are just as cheap. Ga um, Jack uh, Gaia Gaccarini, I can never ever say his name. XM Sunderland player um, and Napoli. Um, for Kivo, he's pretty much discard, but you can find actually try to buy him for like 12k. Canales is one of the other cheap 84s. I missed one the other night um, during weekend league rewards. I think it must have been like the Ameri a lot of folk in America, and it was like 13k. But it's around about 16, 18k mark. And as I say, Giuliano, we kind of made a bit of a muck up, but easy enough fixed. Um, he is roughly around the 35, 40k mark as well. Don't be surprised if he gets an upgrade. So it may affect the first in form, but I don't think it will. But um, I think he'll go either up one or two. We'll see what happens with him. Marlos as well. He has um, expect his. I expect an upgrade for him, but I'd hard to say if they'll upgrade his um, in forms. But I expect the new card to be Ukrainian. So be wary of that. Um, to Keno source, he's pretty much now down to like 13k, with 12.5 to 14k, it's kind of crazy, 13k is what you generally find him going for, Zignac's around the 16, 18k mark as well, I'm surprised Soros went so low, I, the way he was kind of going, I mean, especially in the first night, or first night, night and a half, he was super expensive, and they've obviously since then crashed, the Genini, um, Genini his second in form's kind of done the same, um, like 12k for him, and I've been I traded with him a lot in the opening night and I was making healthy coinage. Um, Varangez, he's pretty much discarded as well. Don't expect much from him, but um, it's good to have in the club just if you like, like not just club value, but just as an investment later down the line. Um, and Bolo, he's around 14k. I'm I was expecting maybe a little bit more, but it's interesting that for an 81, he is slightly more expensive than the 82s like Soares and um, Dajanini. When Das is discarded. Um, but saying that, the cheapest you actually have to generally pay for him is around 11, 11 and a half k But he's in practically discard. It in, um, funnily enough, I just got him just as this video finishes up. Um, which is hilarious. I haven't sent him to the club yet, but 6 k 6 to 8 k is what he goes for. Cannon goes for around 10 k I have missed a couple at around 8.5, 9 k on Snipe. But I'm determined to get him. Well, Greg, we got one, we got two for 14, 7 50. He was going as low as 22-24k last night, but um, I found hilarious that when I sold my other one, which I will show in the video, went for 25 and that was because the cheapest at the time was 30k, and I just thought, right, we're getting them rid for 25 get the profit in it, I'm not laughing. Ivanovic is discard, he's pretty much like 11-12k. Manuel Fernandez is not cheap, um, surprisingly, which is kind of mental, and Fred's around that 35k mark. Um, all three Man of the Match cards I am determined to get as investments. They're pretty much the three I've eyed up on top of Greg and Cannon. 
So definitely a healthy bunch to work with. And as I said, Will Greg, we as I say, one of the Will Griggs that I bought 14750 sold for 25k. Hopefully you find this useful, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. And as you can see, I've got Isa and his investments. Smash like as always, sub to the channel for new. Follow me on Twitter, Jesus Legend. Take it easy, all thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.